Hello everyone. Today we learn about the IPAC nomenclature of alkanes. Now let's start with the branch of branching. Now see, <coughs> in this compound, the longest chain is this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. From 3, from 3 point, that's located 3, methyl is coming out. From the point 6, ethyl group is coming out. And now from the point 4, you will see a group something like this is coming out. There are two procedures of naming it. Moving to the first process. You will count the total number of carbon present here. Total number of carbon 1, 2 and 3 which makes prop. Now this prop is connected with this main chain by means of this point that is 2. So prop 2, 2 is a connector followed by iron. Done. Now this entire bulk is this one. Now this entire bulk is connected with the main chain through this point 4. So 4 prop 2 iron. So the uh, nomenclature will become 6 ethyl hyphen 3 methyl hyphen 4 prop 2 aisle and 8 is octane. So this is the first process of naming the branch of branching. Moving to the second process. For this, see from the point 4, the longest chain that is coming out is this one. See from this point, the longest chain that is coming out is this one, which is having two carbon atoms. Two carbon means ethyl. Now from this ethyl, in the first point, see another group is coming out that is methyl. So one methyl ethyl. Please note both will be iron. I repeat, from this point, the longest chain that is coming out is ethyl. And in that ethyl, from the first point, the group that is coming out, that is methyl. So this one, it indicates that methyl is coming out from the point one of ethyl. And this entire bulk, this entire species is coming out from the point four. Remember, we will treat this entire portion as a single species. We will write continuously. So it will become ethyl methyl and it will be treated as a single word. In that case also see, we are having methyl starting with M. We have methyl ethyl also starting with M. But since it is only methyl and it is followed by ethyl, it will be coming after this. So the process, the entire thing will be same. Instead of this one, we will be just writing one methyl ethyl octane. Now in this compound, see this is the parental chain and in the parental chain we have you know, methyl substitution here methyl substitution here and see so this is the branch of branching <clears throat> and we have two such identical branch of branching if identical branch of branchings are present we are going to use a prefix like bis short form of bishojit bis now we will not use prefix like di, tri, tetra for this branch of branching. For this, we will be using a separate set. This for two, tris for three, tetrakis for four, pentakis for five, and the process goes on hexakis, heptakis, and so on. So, what is the name of this type of species? It is 2, see, 1, 2, 3, so prop 2 iron. And this is coming out from the point 4. And this one is also coming out from the point 4. So, 4, sorry, 4, comma 4 hyphen bis i repeat we will not write die for this one since it's a branch of branching we will be using these type of prefixes if multiples 
such, uh, such substitution comes. So 4 comma 4 b's and we will also not use this one for its nomenclature. We will be using this p. So 3 comma 5, 3 comma 5 dimethyl hyphen 4 comma 4 b's prop to aisle and then heptane. I repeat 3 comma 5 dimethyl 4 comma 4 bis means twice prop to aisle it's prop to aisle and 7 heptane now let's try this one now see this is the parental chain this one and from this parental chain 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 see from fourth point and from 6 two identical substitutions are coming from 5 two identical substitutions are coming let us make it like this see these two are identical these two are identical how to name this type of branch of branching find out the longest chain 1 2 3 4 4 means build it is coming out from point 2 and then I repeat see the longest chain is but 4 carbon but then from 2 it is coming out and then I now instead of starting from left side if I would have started from the right side see the branching would have started from point 3 here also we'll be using the lowest token tool that's why I have started from this side here it is identical group it is also coming from 5 so we will write 5 comma 5 bis built to i now what is the uh, what is the name of these two for uh, the one which is coming from the point 4 and from the point 6 it's prop to i it is coming from the point 4 and 6 and the best chain is known, no name. You see, for this we will be using, we will not use this bis for nomenclature. We will be using this b and this p. So our nomenclature will be 5 comma 5 bis but to aisle hyphen 4 comma 6 bis probe to aisle no name so if you use the first process the name should have become 5 comma 5 bis built to aisle 4 comma 6 bis probe to aisle no name now if i use the second technique for the second technique the name of this portion will become uh, for the second technique i'm using the second technique now okay the name of this will become longest chain 1 and 2 and the substitution is coming from 1 so 1 methyl and this 1 methyl is coming out from ethyl so 1 methyl ethyl and this entire bulk is coming out from 4 as well as from 6 so 4 comma 6 this now let's try with this one see the longest chain that is coming out is 1 2 3 that is propyl and in that propyl the first substitution is coming out from the point 1 so 1 methyl propyl and this entire bulk is coming out twice from 5 so 5 comma 5 this now see we will be using so methyl is identical but the difference comes from the point E and from P so we will give priority to EUI alphabetical order. So if you use together, so it becomes 4 comma 6 bis 1 methyl. Remember it should be in continuous form. Don't keep any space in between. Hyphen 5 comma 5 bis 1 methyl propyl and finally 9 carbon known in 
so you can use any one of this procedure either this one or this one if you like my videos please like share and give your valuable suggestions please subscribe my channel thank you